Alright, today we're going to install some print heads on an i3200 Hosan print head board. These adapter, this print head board is actually going to be installed on top of the carriage and these adapter cards are going to be installed on it. So what we're going to do first is we are going to take these adapter cards off very gently. I have to wiggle them off and set these aside. <clears throat> now keep in mind the print head board is installed in your printer. So we're going to take these off. Sometimes you have to remove the the top access panel on top of the printer to get to it. But this is only good for an I3200 head. If you have, and, and the way to identify it is to look at that head and it will say A1 in the corner. And you know you have an I3200 head. Genuine Epson head. So right here we're going to simulate the print carriage. So the back the back head is going to be your CMYK head that goes to the left hand side of the print head board. Your white head which is going to be the one closest to you is going to go to the right hand side. So what we want to do first is we want to grab some cables. We want to inspect them and make sure that none of the edges are uh, frayed up or very sensitive. And what we're going to do on the writing side of each one of these cables, so if we ever have to take these heads apart again, or take them out, which we probably will, we'll know where they go. So we're going to label each side of the print head the ribbon cable. So we will say right up, right up, right down right down so I got it close to the close to the edge we got our right side and then we're gonna do our left side so it'll be left up left up left down and left down <clears throat> so on each one of these heads we have a down and an up on each one of these cards we have a down and an up or, I'm sorry, a down and a up. <clears throat> so when we install these ribbon cables, the writing needs to go outward, blue to blue. So when we install these, they're going to look just like this left up left down you're going to be able to see your writing blue to blue also the head facing you should like look like this two holes in the front one in the back left hand corner and you're writing on the little sticker you'll be able to read 
So, not like this, like this. <coughs> so we're going to start with the left, the left side, and we'll go left down. A little snap there. And we'll do the left up. See how they're nice and straight? They're not like crooked or <clears throat> it's not sitting in the head like this. They look nice and flat. They don't look, you can't see the blue or, that means they're snapped in correctly. So, do the right side. Right side down. right side up. So we're going to use this one right here as our CMYK head. So these cards are, are marked up and down and we'll only go back into the carriage one way into the carriage board, the print head board. See that notch? the notch will be facing away from you. So it just kind of fits right in there. So what we'll do next is left up we'll go to left up. Left up, to left up, left down, to left down. <clears throat> if you notice, blue to blue, writing out. And we'll do the same with the right side. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually install this head. So take the three screws that are already in the carriage, you're going to take them out, and then we're going to put them in these three holes right here. Get them in there, don't, don't tighten them down, just get them started good, and we want to take this head and we want to push it over to the right and back as far as we can, and then we're going to tighten them down. Um, cross pattern, um, don't tighten one up too much before the other, and try to tighten them up as even as possible. Then we'll go to the print head board and we'll install this. Now you're going to have to wiggle this and kind of be careful that you're getting it in there, but you want to get it in there nice and snug. And then what we'll do is we'll install the dampers in the order that they come. When you undo the dampers, you'll see that they're kind of in a row. You'll see if you can, if you twist them up but they'll go one damper for each channel. And then what we'll do is we'll repeat, repeat the process 
with the front head and install the dampers also. Now we do this because if you ever have to take this head out, um, it can get pretty confusing. So you'll, you'll always know where this head, where the cables go on these heads. It'll help long term when you have to replace stuff and do maintenance on your printer. Hope this helps.